Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Tactics Ogre Under the Lotus. All the cutscenes, we're headed to the Hall of Conviction today. Let's go fight it out! Well done. You certainly have lived up to Lord Shahara's expectations. I wonder... What makes him different from other humans? Black Wings. You two aren't humans after all. Why'd you lead us here? What do you want from us? <laughs> the truth lies just beyond this door. Come in. Lord Shahar is waiting for you. Be gone, service of darkness! To <laughs> her! <laughs> Nina from Breath of Fire 2. I've been waiting for the fragment of my horn. Without it, I'd remain imprisoned here. Now, return what is mine. First, explain yourself. Why'd you lend your power to Lord Patrol and have him search for the spear? And why do you wish to be resurrected? Even if I told you, human, you'd never understand. I'm Shahar. I've only contempt for heaven. All that's in my heart is hatred for God. Look at my wretched appearance. He sealed me in this land of eternal ice before my body turned black. I've waited for someone to respond to my voice. I've slowly restored my power by feeding on people's envy. And now it's time for my resurrection. it is with uh, Japanese games where they say that it's black wings, but it's actually purple wings. Same thing happened in Breath of Fire 2. Although it's very pretty, you know, you can't fault them there. I like how one wing is an angel's wing and the other wing is like a devil wing. There's no escaping, David. You'll be an offering, in honor of Lord Shahar's resurrection. Son of man, do you not think there is something wrong with this world? Should not everyone be equal in God's eyes? Why do some people have power, while others have nothing? Human hearts are so easily swayed by emotion. Why are humans permitted to multiply, tainting the earth with their existence? Humans try to choose the right path, but they continue to make some, some mistakes. Despite their failings, God forgives them. That's what I think. Yes, but because God forgave you, all of this happened. You, his imperfect creations, are granted forgiveness. He asked us, the closest to him, to serve you. He's too lenient on humans. Why does he choose to forgive them, rather than discipline them who've been hurt before? Will you try to deny your feelings, or destroy your relationship by revealing them? Do you think this boy can melt your frozen heart? Do you not expect that to happen? You'll only get hurt again. Are you not afraid? If you trust him, he'll betray you. He will not understand your feelings. You cannot help but believe in him? Humans are such fools. No! This cannot be the extent of my power. How can God love these worthless creatures who offer nothing in return? Humans may be powerless in your eyes. But there's no way that we can stand by and let you do as you wish with our world. Then, allow me to introduce you to my world. Angels fall from heaven the moment they question their existence. They are disciples of God. They devote their lives to God and those he loves. Is it so terrible to doubt? to desire God's love? If God forgives you, then the standard for righteousness will be meaningless. God rules this world according to his laws. 
order exists at the expense of sympathy, you will not be pardoned. Insolent humans, just try to stop me! Creatures of darkness, come forth and join me! Lord of Bane, welcome me into the darkness! Well, next time on Let's, or, uh, <laughs> not Let's Play, on Tactics Over the Lotus, all the cutscenes, we will be doing the final battle finale and ending. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good day.